If you spent five minutes looking around at TF2 footage, or whether it's old footage from Star or from Dunkel Lane, then you're bound to have seen these within the footage. What you see here is a modified heads-up display being used rather than the vanilla HUD, and to some people who mainly use stock, I can imagine some people see this stuff and go, well, why switch from stock? What's wrong with it? As a person who uses custom HUDs, and has for years, I can tell you why, and it's for three reasons. The first reason is that because while the stock heads-up display is not bad, it's pretty dated and is considered cluttered by people who use custom ones. The second and third reason is because people want some more variety in style, along with hoping their FPS performance gets boosted. It makes sense for the last point too, because TF2 is infamously unoptimized due to how much bloat there is in the game, so for them, any sort of FPS boost counts. With that point in mind, people over the years have started making more HUDs that cut down on those elements and show the bare necessities, but while that isn't a bad idea, as you've read the title, a bunch of people have taken issue with how little variety there is today. If you go onto either GameBanana or HUDs.tf and go by newest submissions, you're going to find an ocean of minimalist HUDs, with a bunch of them being spin-offs of one another. Now, while there are some key differences in terms of how their stylizations are from one another, there's really nothing making them look unique, which, if you're making a HUD, isn't that something you want to do? Usually, if you create something, you want to make your product stick out so more people will look over what you've done. Despite those complaints, though, I want to bring back a question that was brought up in the last video essay. Was the scourge of cookie-cutter minimalistic HUDs we have in the modern day present even back then? To which I can say, I have the answer to that. But doing so will require us to go back a decade. Before we get into that, though, I can already imagine at least someone has already posted a comment along the lines of, you complain about HUDs being simplistic, yet here you are, using Ray's HUD. Curious. To which I have two reasons for that. First one being, I used to use Ray's HUD back in the day, along with it having a streamer mode, which removes all names when playing, which makes editing for me way easier. With that in mind, let us go back as early as possible on Game Banana's HUD directory, to see how far we evolved over time in terms of customization styles. When it comes to seeing when the first HUD mod came to be, we land on the peace sign health from user Mr. Cowthing. While just a simple element change from 2009, this user and a bunch of others would follow suit, creating their own health bar replacements. In 2010, we see a new UI mod called Alternative HUD by FS Jr. This mod edits the inner elements of the default one to give this sort of Xbox 360 vibe along with reshaping some UI box elements and giving them a new sheen. While this trend went on for a while, our first true customized in-game HUD would be released in April of 2011 under the name Mesh HUD by the Dueling Rabbit. With this screenshot being the only example I could find of this UI, while not completely finished, the gameplay display here has a good mix of minimalism with some added style to it, so I'd say we're off to a good start. The first completed custom HUD, however, would have to go to Doodle HUD, which was created by Ducky Doodles in 2012. The looks of it here not only have stylized minimalism, but are also very reminiscent to the looks of Toon HUD in a way. I consider this a fully fleshed out HUD, because of it also having its main menu tweaked with new elements. Alongside that, though, would come one of the most popular and fully fleshed out minimalist HUDs, with it still going to this day, Ray's HUD. As you can see from the footage here, it is luckily still being updated to this day, and has been going strong for over a decade. It also helps that Ray's HUD, from what I've looked into, seems to be the first ever fully minimalist HUD. So now that we've figured these key points out, we then start to move up in the years, and see more and more HUDs be pumped out, showing all sorts of varieties of these creations. Back in the day, there would be a mix of fully stylized ones, minimalist ones, or ones with a mix of both traits. As we go on into the last five years on the site, we see that outside of updating existing HUDs, we go from a mix of the three to practically just minimalism. With this in mind, this would lead to these types of UIs being the main go-to style for these mods that are still present to this day. 
but I don't believe it has to be this way. I do think there are solutions to this. While I know I complained about simplistic HUDs before, I do think there is a way things can be improved for them when it comes to current and future content creators. As corny and lazy as it sounds, the one thing I could recommend for them to do is diversify and experiment by making stylish looking mods. If you have an idea that feels like it hasn't been done yet and it isn't simplistic, try it out if you got the skills. Go far out with whatever design or styles you have if you want to be a creator. While there are people who want less clutter on their game to be shown, there are people out here who would gladly love to have more stuff on their screen as long as it's stylish and engaging to see, as long as it's not intrusive. While there's not much variety at the moment, I would like to take this time to give some recommendations to people who want some stylized mods, or ones that have a mix of minimalism and flair. One of the first recommendations I'd love to give is Chasm HUD, with it stating that it is a heavily modified version of Eve HUD and from the screenshots alone, you can clearly see it. Despite using it as a base, it does give off its own unique look to it that I think would interest people. I'd also recommend the original Eve HUD too, since it'd be a disservice to not recommend it alongside the edited version, with it having a great rendition of a TF2 UI look through and through. Second one I'd like to suggest is the Half-Life 2 HUD as it replicates the looks and style of both Half-Life 2 and, presumably, Half-Life 2 Deathmatch. While it still has kinks to work out, I do believe this is a pretty cool looking UI that people should try out if they want to experience TF2 with an HL2 flair. Third one I'd give a shout out to is Night HUD, which, while it does say in its thumbnail that it is an edited version of the default HUD, I do think it strikes a good balance between simplicity and style as it makes itself stand out and is definitely worth a try in my books. For the fourth recommendation, I'd like to suggest a HUD that I've personally commissioned from a now friend of mine, Artitian, to improve an update for modern TF2 called Garmin 8MG. It is still a work in progress, but outside of that, it still has a good mix of simplicity and style to it. As for the final recommendation, and I cannot suggest this enough, Try Toon HUD. There's a reason it's considered one of the best mods out there, and it's because of the customization options it has compared to every other one. It even has its own website where you can make your own custom version to try out, so if you want a UI that's easy to customize, your best bet is Toon HUD. Links to all of these will be in the description. If you made it all the way to the end here, I'd like to thank you for watching. This is a video that I've wanted to revamp into a better product than the first time I did this, since that was my first time making a video essay. I'd like to thank my friend E.T. for being my go-to narrator in all my video essays. And before the video ends, I'd like to leave you all with a question. How do you guys feel about the current custom HUD ecosystem? If you feel there needs to be changes, what changes do you feel would be good to have within it to add more flavor to it? With that out of the way, thank you all and have a good one.